Hey guys, I'm Sun, I'm a privacy and security researcher and you're watching The Privacy Guides. Today we are talking about biometrics, specifically fingerprint readers and how one can use these fingerprint readers without using our fingers. Uh, now the answer is kind of obvious, but let's, let's follow along here. Um, so I am a security researcher and sometimes I work for clients and they ask me to dig into things. So lately I've been digging into the Samsung T7 Touch this has a built-in uh, fingerprint reader right here and it supports hardware encryption. That means that the device can encrypt data on its own and it can be unlocked using fingerprints. Now, uh, fingerprints are not the safest way of unlocking devices. It's actually easier than one could think to impersonate fingerprints. That said, I'm discussing this in the context of me having to test this device and not wanting to actually use my real fingerprints on it because the Samsung T7 Touch has no reference to a secure element. It has really bad documentation when it comes to how security aspects of it are implemented. And while doing research, I actually stumbled upon this uh, CVE saying that T3s and T7s uh, actually have an encryption vulnerability. Uh, yeah, and so I didn't want to put my actual real fingerprints in it because I have no idea of how this device is implemented and the device is owned by one of my clients. So hopefully I was not going to use my real fingers. So then I decided to start searching the web for uh, fake fingerprints that I could use in the context of my lab when I'm just testing things. Uh, and I stumbled upon this article on Vice. I replaced my fingerprints with prosthetics to avoid surveillance. That is work by someone called uh, Mian Wei. I am probably messing up your name. I am so sorry. So it's a project where he created some prosthetics that can be glued to a finger and you know used instead of our real fingerprints. I reached out and hopefully he'll send over a kit so that I get to test it and share it with you guys. Um, but during that research, I also stumbled upon this story uh, on The Guardian uh, that says that fake fingerprints can be imitated uh, can no sorry fake fingerprints can imitate real ones in biometric systems. Uh, so yeah, this uh, lab has created uh, using artificial intelligence, I believe, or machine learning, whatever, a set of fingerprints that are kind of like um, master keys in a way. And these master fingerprints were able uh, to unlock one out of five, I believe, fingerprints on enterprise grade fingerprint readers. So again, fingerprints not to be tested, uh, trusted. I mean. Uh, as much as passwords. Uh, there's a lot to be said about this. For instance, if you use biometrics to unlock your phone, that is totally cool for convenience, but I always recommend to never enable biometrics to unlock your password manager within the phone, for instance, or your banking app within the phone, because then I can hit you on the head and use your finger to access all of your stuff. So biometrics uh, should be used mindfully. Back to this device. So I wanted to be able to do my job and test this device uh, without using my fingers. Uh, so I was looking up how to buy fake fingerprints or I was trying to learn about that. And then I had an epiphany. Uh, the problem with our fingers is we touch everything all the time and our fingerprints are associated to personal devices, for instance. So we might not wanna use those on devices that are not ours or period. Now, uh, humans have a cool feature. We also have 10 toes and our toes are essentially fingers as well. So we can use our toes. Now, I don't know for you, but I always, now you saw my Crocs, sorry about that, but I always wear socks. I'm not the kind of guy that just walks in my house barefoot all the time, although clearly I do in my bathroom. Yeah, so one has to be mindful about this, I guess, but one can use our toes, which we use a lot less to touch doorknobs and all kinds of things. Um, to unlock these devices. So that's what I did. I used one of my toes and it totally worked in the context of the Samsung T7 Touch. So yeah, I wanted to share this idea with you guys and kind of open the conversation around fingerprints and biometrics in general. Uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye.